Hamilton County. We have crews across our area surveying the damage, beginning with news for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny, live in Middleburg in Clay County with a look at the situation there, Eric. Yeah, we're on Lazy Acres Road, and I can tell you there is a couple of situations that are happening right now. One, first of all, uh, the floodwaters here are not receding. In fact, they appear to be increasing because of the higher tide. We were just at this location right in front of this house around 630 uh, doing a live report, and the water level was a little bit lower than it is now. I would say that uh, at this point, the water appears to have gone up another foot, maybe two feet. Another situation that's happening out here right now. Since we've been out here tonight, we've seen uh, people people in these really big trucks that can navigate some of these floodwaters. Well, now they're starting to anger some of the homeowners. In fact, uh, one of the homeowners came out because he was upset because, you know, when those trucks go through here, they're going through here too fast and they're creating waves that are crashing into the house, you know, and that creates a problem because, you know, for many of these people, it's bad enough that they've got this water in their front lawns. They've, they've got this water up to their front door. Now, when you have those trucks come through, now you're pushing more of that water toward the house. Again, people out here have been dealing with this all day long. For people living along Lazy Acres Road near Black Creek in Middleburg, this amount of flooding to deal with is nothing to smile about. It's it's horrible. It really is. Large sections of Lazy Acre Road were left underwater. Parked vehicles in people's yards were also left submerged, and the first floor of this home appeared to have taken in flood water. Many of the homes like this one on this side of Lazy Acre Road are on stilts, but as you can see, there is still an abundance of water that homeowners have to walk through just to leave their property. The closer you go in that direction towards Black Creek, the deeper the water, which could make it very dangerous to try and navigate by foot. That explains why some residents closer to the overflowing creek were leaving their homes by boat. Anybody from like the corner down, you cannot walk, it's too deep. So you have to use a boat. You have to use a boat. Still, yeah. some managed to ride their bicycles through the water, but even that didn't appear to last too long as the water was getting deeper. Neighbors say it always floods during big storms, but the flooding is usually manageable. This was more than what they were expecting. Normally it's not too bad because it just comes up in the yard a little and you're fine. But then when a storm comes like this, it's unpredictable and goes over the land slow, that's when it causes problems. Like this is the third time in 25 years. Now, despite all the flooding out here, we have not had or ha heard of any reports of anyone being injured. But there's one more thing I want you to pay close attention to. If we could swing the camera right here. Take a look at this. Um, this, yeah, you can see the water is just sitting still here. But just bear in mind, this stuff is going to be out here for a while. It's already been out here for a while. This becomes a breeding ground for mosquitoes and already the mosquitoes out here are bad enough. So you can imagine what it's gonna be like in several days from now, uh, the longer that this, this, this sticks around. Reporting live in Middleburg, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.